Hello, you're welcome to Beb TV. The name goes Benjamin Kwadi, and tonight I'm here with uh, a gentleman by name Mr. Tutu, uh, who is about sharing his experience as far as uh, scam is concerned. He has been scammed at least about two times, and uh, is here on Beb TV to share with us. Mr. Tutu, you are welcome to Beb TV. Thank you very much. All right, so can you share with us uh, what happened? Yeah, in my case. It goes this way. Uh, I received a call one afternoon. The, according to the call, the guy is call, calling from Kaswa. And uh, yeah, according to him, he has mistakenly sent some money into my Momo account. So you, he begged me so much, I should return the money back to him. If I don't know the code, he will show me the processes so that I can follow. By so doing, you get his money back. So, ah, I thought otherwise. I this scam before, so I wanted to, to verify or check from my Momo account to enable me to ascertain what he's claiming. So I excused him to give me a few moments to enable me to, 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 to get back to him. So what I did was, he, I checked my, my balance, my account balance. The message was there, all right. He sent me 500 cities as a message. So I took my time to go into my memo account to check whether that money is, is there. But when I checked my memo account, unfortunately, there wasn't any money there like that. So it was just a message. So I called him back to find out what, how much is the money and where, how do I return the money back. Then he began to show me how to, he sent me a code that I should type it and send to him. And I suspected that this is not real, it wasn't realistic. So I put the phone off and that was how it goes at the first place. Okay, so can you share with us the second experience as well? The second experience is I received a, a, a honorary number. What I mean by honorary number is a phone number from any any mm. MTN mm. line, and the, and I picked the call, and he said uh, they are calling from Paswa branch of MTN, and that uh, they want to update their system. So if I wouldn't mind, they want to send me some of the processes that I should follow. And uh, I should mention my Ghana card number. I should mention my uh, other, other uh, mm. identity of mine so that they can use it to update uh, my MTN line. Also, as I've this come before, I'm, I'm very careful about this kind of messages. And I also know that before you can't, uh, you don't, uh, MTN doesn't use ordinary numbers to, uh, call, you. to call you to for information or for anything. There's a, a line, particularly for the uh, MTN, a short code. So I sourced that one as a scam. So I did not fall into the process. Yeah. All that right. is how I get my experience about scammers. What advice would you give to people who <laughs> normally fall into these traps? Yes, I, advising them when they see ordinary numbers calling them to update their uh, network or their account number or account, uh, they should not uh, subject to that. Mm -hmm. They should not subscribe mm -hmm. to it. And if when somebody send you money to your phone, and it was a mistake, please let them go to the MTN office so that they can get the money back. Don't send money to anybody or return any money from your phone to anybody. That is my little advice I experienced mm -hmm. too. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Tutu, yeah. uh, from the National Theatre of yeah. Ghana. God richly really bless you for sharing you. your experience with us. And I believe that uh, many people will learn from your experience. Sure. Sure. Bye. Sure. Thank you.